As much as you hate to admit it, you're probably the kind of guy that's always thinking about sex. And whether that's through porn or whether that's meeting girls in real life, you kind of feel like you always have this constant weight just pulling you down, which is preventing you from achieving other important shit in your life. And the thing is, you only feel some kind of temporary freedom when you release yourself. But this freedom doesn't last long enough because in order to get what you truly want from your life, you need to be sexually disciplined. So listen carefully to find out how you can do that. Picture this, I'm an 18 year old skinny ass kid and I've just gotten really, really horny. I'm in a nightclub and I'm noticing that there are attractive girls everywhere and you know, I uh, wanna, get to know them. But I look into the mirror and I don't feel attractive in myself, particularly because of my skinny arms and the fact that I don't fill out a t-shirt. And yet at this point I'd been eating, you know, your typical student diet of like frozen pizzas and meal deals and just the typical bullshit Western food of like bread and processed carbs. And I know this is like a bit off topic, but why the f is that shit normalized, man? Why do we feed this shit to our children? Like the chaos it causes to our bodies is ridiculous, man. Like it should be illegal. I'm not even joking. And that's why I'm giving you my current diet plan for free, which you can get from the description. You're welcome. Anyway, so I'm feeling particularly unattractive and horny in this nightclub. And somehow, I don't know how, but I'd made eye contact with this girl from across the bar. And instantly I start overthinking everything in my head. I'm thinking like, oh, was she looking at me? Does she think that I'm attractive or something? Like, should I go and speak to her? Or maybe she was looking at the guy next to me. I, I don't know, what should I do? And I just started to really doubt myself and to get over this doubt and lack of confidence, I did what I knew best and that was just to knock back the drinks. Next thing you know, you know I'm blackout drunk. The whole night is forgotten and I repeat the same bloody story again the next night, having done nothing actually valuable or productive. All because I was constantly chasing and making it my sole purpose to attract and get with women. So let me tell you the main issue with men having no sexual discipline and that is that a man who cannot control his sexual urges is not able to control all of the other important things in his life. And I truly feel like this is the reason, right, for why I was failing my, my degree. You know, I was failing all of my assignments because I was constantly thinking about the desires of my penis, right? I was blinded. I was literally blinded. I wasn't thinking with my brain. I wasn't able to because I gave so much power to lust and sexual fantasies, you know? I wasn't doing the things that could actually improve my life, you know? I wasn't taking the time I needed to learn. I wasn't reading. I wasn't going to the gym consistently. You know, I wasn't meditating. I wasn't journaling. I wasn't doing any of these things because, you know, my brain couldn't actually focus on what was important. I had no sexual discipline. And this is why I wasn't able to have a fruitful life. Now let me tell you that being sexually disciplined isn't about being on nofap, right? It's not about choosing to retain your semen and not masturbate and, you know, count the days of how long you haven't ejaculated for. Because honestly, I, I can't help but feel like that is the most amount of genuine bullshit I think you can ever hear on the internet. Because I think it just completely makes men focus on the wrong thing. Being sexually disciplined is just about not making sex and your urges and your lust your number one priority because there is nothing like in life that you should be giving that much of attention to right because when you do that it becomes an obsession okay so let's look at a few reasons for how being sexually disciplined as a man will help you to get what you want out of life number one when you're on the chase and you're constantly obsessing about trying to find your next mate to be intimate with next mate well i, I know what i meant there when you're trying to find your <laughs> it's the right word it's the right word your next mate to be intimate with you lose sight of the other important things in your life okay because when you're just wasting time and you're sending snapchats and you're sending dms on instagram you know and you're 
constantly swiping through like Tinder and Bumble and whatever bloody hell dating apps they have nowadays, you know, and you're you're learning cringy pickup techniques from people on YouTube so that you can copy them and you're spending hours doing all of this stuff and devoting all of your time in learning how to pick up chicks. This means that you're obsessing, right? This means that you're spending so much of your time doing this. And like I said, when you obsess about anything in life, that is when it becomes unhealthy, you know? And this is when it means that you're probably forgetting about your core desires in life, you know? You're neglecting your career. You're forgetting about the career that you want to chase, that you were made and destined to achieve, you know? You're neglecting your hobbies. You're forgetting about, you know, where you want to travel in the world. Like, where do you want to go, man? What do you want to experience? And that might sound a little bit far-fetched, but this is the truth, you know, because the next thing you know, if you can't control your sexual desires, you'll end up married, right? You'll end up married with a girl that you don't even like that much potentially and you have a family and you have kids and you'll have a mortgage and you'll have to you know work for your boss just to achieve his dreams so that you can put food on the table and this is what happens when you're not sexually disciplined you end up in situations where you don't want to be in and the chances are if you're watching this video you're probably a young man which means you might not be in a, in a position where you get caught in this trap you you have an opportunity right now to stop yourself from doing this right and now another reason for why it's important to stay sexually disciplined is because you know when you're sleeping around with loads of girls you kind of ruin the potential of developing true connections with future girls that you actually like and as I've said here on the screen I'm gonna to try to explain what I mean by that and I have talked about this on my channel before but essentially imagine this is the bond between you and a female right so when you have sex with one girl you might be able to develop a really great connection with her right and this is the bond that you have together. But when you do this again with a different girl, the bond will stick again. You have a great bond, okay? But the more times you do this, the more times you have sex and the more girls that you are sexual with, the less strong this bond becomes, right? And I know some of my mates that have, you know, slept with probably close to 100 girls and they really struggled to connect with girls because as you can see, the more they do this, the weaker the bond becomes, right? And eventually, it just falls off right because they're not able to connect with girls on a deeper level so this is why it's important to make sure that you're sexually disciplined in the sense that you actually are careful and you're not just trying to have sex with like every single girl that you see you know you, you don't you want to be making sure this is not like some kind of game you know and the next point that i want to make is that for those of you that are constantly succumbing to your porn urges right to masturbating to pixelated women on a screen you are literally becoming a slave to your mind your mind controls you and this is not a good thing because your mind doesn't always tell you the things that are the best for you right your mind tells you not to do this because that's dangerous your mind tells you not to do this because this is comfortable your mind tells you play it safe and you shouldn't trust your mind in that sense because your mind will also tell you to watch porn right? It will give you urges that you find hard to say no to. And as I said, this isn't about physically not ejaculating and about physically retaining your semen. This is about having a mindset that develops self-respect because you've told yourself you're not going to do this and you're not going to do that. Because if you actually stick to your word and you actually have some kind of form of discipline and don't do the thing that you said you won't do, you will gain so much self-respect and confidence in yourself. And this is going to bring positive Positive attention to other areas of importance in your life other than your sexual desires and this is what's actually going to attract women into your life it's about having all other areas of your life sorted out it's about being on top of all the other areas of your life and knowing exactly what you want as a man don't forget to get that free diet plan from my description this will help you to gain a muscular physique and feel healthier overall believe you can and you're more than halfway there